so welcome to our Tuesday yoga class. Thank you for being here, for your energy, for your trust. Let us begin by finding a tall spine, just sitting comfortably, however you like. Beginning to close the eyes and bring the attention inside. So notice what your experience of this moment is like. And see if you can be open to it all. So we're not looking for any particular feeling or sensation. We are softening rigidity and feeling what's truly here in the body, in the mind. Observe the rhythm of your breath as well, which is a wonderful indicator to what is happening. The breath never lies. When the breath is shallow, choppy, it normally reflects a busy mind, a, a tight heart. Can you allow your breathing to be smooth, to be easy, to be free? And when it's easy, or rather when it's hard to control the mind, we use these other tools that yoga offers to affect the mental state. So if we are feeling anxious, if we're feeling monkey-minded, can't focus, can't be present, we can work on the breath to affect the mind. So you begin to extend the breath consciously, observing the fullness of the inhalations, the expansion in the rib cage, in the upper belly, and then contract the low belly just slightly on the exhale, Allow the ribs to soften back together, getting grounded. Inhale, be open to receiving the breath, more prana, more vitality, freshness. Exhale, contraction of the lower abdominals, settling in, calming down, all the air out. Couple more like this, inhale to expand. Notice a little pause when you finish inhaling. Contraction of the lower abdominals, exhale, getting empty, observing a little pause, very subtle at the end of the exhalation. And again, just feel the air coming in. Filling up the lungs, expanding the mind. And feel the air going out, getting empty, breathing out any cluttered thoughts, feelings that no longer serve a purpose. And then inhale to circle the arms and lift them up by the head. Exhale, turn the palms out and lower the arms, contracting the belly, interlacing hands behind the hips. The eyes can stay closed, extend the arms, lift up the chest. So we're opening across the chest area. We stay here with the hands close together, maybe they're touching. Opening the heart space, Anahata Chakra. And then keeping the heart space nice and open, join the palms together right in front of the chest. Keeping the eyes closed, creating an intention for practice based on your heart space connected to this area. What is it that you need to feel more harmonious, more peaceful, more joyful, more content? What is the feeling? that you would like to attract? What is the quality? 
Create the intention to attracting that right now. And together, we'll now chant the sound of Om as in a ritual where we send our intention out into the universe, trusting that we will be supported. Take a deep breath in. Rub the palms against each other, create heat. Heat for purification, for transformation. Once you feel the palms warm, cup the eyes. And let this warmth help clear your vision to see truth, to see beauty, Gently slide the hands down the face, passing through jaw, and then the back of the neck and the shoulders, massaging yourselves here, letting go of stress accumulated. Allow yourself to really be with this. You know, sometimes you think oh, it was just a kind of a transition thing. I don't need to get into it so much, but try, try, because it's so good. Use your breath to exhale tension. And then we'll transition into child's pose. So take your time, come onto the hands and knees. If the knees are sensitive, have something underneath them for more padding. It could be a towel, a blanket. And then place your big toes close together, separate the knees wide. Let your forehead rest on something. Patrick, Sharon, Zinip, good morning. So taking this time to get really grounded, close to the earth, feel that support, feel that stability, connecting to Mother Earth, to nature, breathing with it. Can you continue feeling the expansion in the body as you inhale and that softening? the release as you exhale. We just celebrated the summer solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere. So we'll be honoring light today. Light in a sense that it helps us see truth. It illuminates darkness. So it brings to consciousness the unconscious aspect of the self. We'll be chanting the Gayatri Mantra shortly. So take one more breath here in Balasana, child's pose. And then with your arms straight forward by the head, spread the fingers wide. Bring your weight forward onto the hands, curl the toes under and enter downward facing dog, hips up and back. Bend one knee at a time, move your hips from side to side, keeping the head down. Let this feel good in your body. Everything that we do today, you will find your unique way of doing it. You will modify as needed. You'll take breaks as you like. Pause in center, move the chest closer to the thighs or to the space between the thighs. The neck is super long, keep your head down. As you breathe in, come forward into a plank pose, just briefly, and then lower your knees to floor. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders to give the wrist a break. You could make fists with your hands. Lift up the chest, inhale, look forward. Exhale, contract the belly and round your back, chin towards chest. Look ahead as you breathe in, shoulders down, arcing the spine. Breathe out, tailbone down, chin into chest, round. And continue with this movement on your own time without rushing. 
can you follow the rhythm of your breath? Letting the breath be as long and relaxed as possible. And as you move with your breath in this simple vinyasa, notice the little pauses that take place when you finish breathing in with the lungs full of air. And when you finish breathing out with the lungs empty. Freeing out the spine. The most important elements in the yoga practice, physically, energetically. Let's do one more round of cat and cow, slowing down. There's no rush. And then pause into a neutral spine. Draw the navel in, extend the right leg parallel to floor, left arm by the head forward. The left thumb points up, shoulders are back. Now your right toes are pointing down, hips are equally high. Gaze down, just the head, little bit ahead of your nose. And keep your breathing smooth as you create some heat. Feel the body warming up. Heat for purification, for detoxification. Take one more breath, strengthening here. Then bring down the hand and the knee. And we'll switch sides, left leg extends back, right arm forward by the head, thumb pointing up. Gazing down, long neck. The left hip is not higher than the right. They are just the same height. Take one more breath, ladies and gentlemen. And lower down the hand and the knee. Now take the hands ahead of the shoulders once again and extend into downward dog. Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Watch what happens when you stay connected to breath. Perhaps you already feel a little shift from the moment you began the practice to now. Just by being connected to breath, present in the body. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bending knees in line with the ankles. Release the head down. Root down through your feet, spread your toes wide. And we're rolling up the spine slowly, coming to stand into Tadasana Mountain Pose. Draw the shoulders up, back and down. And then turn your palms to face forward, please. Be very open, the front of the body, very open. Close your eyes. And we're going to chant to the sun, Gayatri, Surya. We're going to chant the Gayatri Mantra, which is a mantra where we ask for illumination, to see truth, to see what's real. So if you don't know the words, don't worry about it because the power of the mantras uh, is mainly in the sound and the vibrations. I, it, uh, a long time ago, mantras were taught without the meaning being explained. You just have to memorize the words without knowing intellectually what they meant. That's traditionally how it's taught. Okay, so be open to receiving those vibrations connecting to the energy of the sun. If you like, you can also bring your hands together at heart. Take a deep breath in, everyone. Om Bhuva Svaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Diyoyona Prachodaya Om Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Feel the vibra vibrations resonate with the body. Mantra Man means mind. Tra means a tool or an instrument. So a mantra is a tool, an instrument to transform the mind, 
to take the mind from perhaps an agitated or a lethargic place to a clear, peaceful state. Let's inhale, circle the arms like a big sun, reach up, fold down, exhale, bow. Come forward, walk forward into a plank pose, inhale. Lower down to your belly, your knees can come down first and the whole body down. Lift your chest into a little cobra as you inhale. Exhale, lower your forehead back down to the floor. Press into your hands and inhale, lift your nose, lift your chest, go a little higher, belly in. Chest forward, lower your forehead down again. Again, inhale, keep the elbows into the waist, lift the chest. Exhale, chest forward, forehead down. This time, lift up the chest and see if you can extend your arms into upward dog, bringing the shoulders, the elbows and wrists in the same line, all in alignment. Belly stays in to protect your low back. Look forward, neck is so long. Some of you may like to lift the knees off the floor. You need to engage your core, draw the belly in and take one more breath. And then move into downward dog, lifting the hips high up all the way back. Let's bring the feet close together now. Lift the right leg high. Turn the right toes to the right and bend the right knee. Look at the left ankle, press equally into the hands, opening the right side of the body, the waist, the hip. Pressing into the hands. One more breath here. Extend the right leg up. Lower your right foot back down to the floor. Left leg, lift it up, turn the toes to the left. So you're opening your hips to the left and then you bend your left knee. Look at the right ankle, keep your head down and press into both hands just the same. The breath stays smooth throughout the practice, doesn't change. But the next inhale, extend the leg, exhale, lower your left foot back down. Feet hip distance apart, inhale, come forward into plank. Lower both knees to the floor. Moving into a side stretch, lower, uh, extend your right leg back, move your left foot to the left and your left hand should be under your left shoulder. Reach your right arm up to ceiling and then overhead. Relax your shoulders and stretch through the right side. The right side is the solar side in the body. That's where the Surya energy, solar power, more active, more manifesting, more driven, power to change the things we need to change or want to change in our lives is related to this solar energy. Press into the right foot and take another breath. And then can you move your right arm towards whatever is behind you. So your palm is facing the ceiling. Now try bending your right knee. Can you hold the top of your right foot? Keep your belly in and send your foot away from hip. It's a balancing pose, yes. Take one more breath, open, open heart. And we'll bring the right foot back down to the floor, reach the arm overhead once again. Gaze at the floor, lower the hand, lower the knee, reset. Tabletop, inhale, lift the chest, look forward. Exhale, round the spine, contract the belly, chin down. Lift the chest again, breathing in, shoulders down. Breathe out, round your back. Pause in neutral. Straighten your left leg back, move your right foot outside the mat like a kickstand, turning your body left, your hand is underneath the shoulder, left arm extends up, then reach overhead. And we now connect to the Chandra side of the body, meaning we're freeing up lunar energy, more calming, more accepting, the energy we need to be with things that we cannot change. 
to accept. It's also a more creative energy. Take one more breath here. And then reach your left hand behind you like you're catching rain, palm is facing up. Try bending the left knee, hold the top of your foot, press it away from hip. Navel in. You modify as needed. Honor your body, respect your body. Take one more breath here. Bring the left foot back down, reach the arm overhead. Another nice stretch for the side body. Then look down, lower hand, lower knee. Reset in table position. Then walk your hands ahead of the shoulders, palms down. Curl the toes, downward dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathing in, space. Breathing out, anything that is non-serving physically, mentally, energetically. Walk your feet forward towards the hands. Bend the knees, slowly roll up the spine, circle the arms, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna do three rounds of Surya Namaskar, sun salutation. When we honor a deity, in this case, Surya, Gayatri, the sun, we are taking on the qualities of that deity that we are connecting with. So what is the sun? What does it represent to you? Maybe strength, maybe power, radiance, light, illumination. Connect to that. What is the sun for you? Power to transform. And here we go, sun salutation, circle the arms, inhale, reach up. Fold down, exhale, bow. Look ahead, inhale, halfway up, hands to legs. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down, step or hop back into plank, bend the elbows, lower halfway or all the way to the ground. Lift the chest as you breathe in, open heart. Downward facing dog, breathing out. Stay as you inhale, feel the body expand and stay as you exhale completely. Release the head down. Take another breath, inhale the radiance of the sun, all that power, all that strength. Exhale, stay. Now lift up the heels as you breathe in. Bend the knees as you breathe out, look forward. Step or hop between the hands. Inhale, come to halfway up, flat back. Fold over legs, bend both knees, exhale, head down. Roll up your spine, coming to stand, circle the arms, a big sun. Bring that Gayatri energy to the heart, exhale. Again, circle the arms, inhale, lift them up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, folding down, Uttanasana, release your head. Look forward, long neck, inhale, halfway up. Bend the knees, hands down, step or hop back, bend the elbows into the waist as you lower, halfway or all the way. Upward dog or cobra, inhale, open heart. Downward dog, exhale. So you may feel the heat increasing in the body, heat that helps burn toxins, impurities, heat that helps melt away the things that you don't wish to carry forward into this new cycle. A new nature cycle now. We just had our longest day of the year here for us in the Northern, Northern Hemisphere. Now we're moving towards darkness again. <laughs> Not that we wanna think about that, but, um, but it is happening. <laughs> Inhale, lift up the heel. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or hop, flatten the back, breathe in. Fold down, Uttanasana, breathe out, bend the knees. Roll up, circle arms, inhale, reach high. Exhale to heart. Last one. Inhale, belly in as you circle, reach, arcing the spine. 
fold, exhale, release, head down. Look ahead, inhale. Hands to floor, step into plank, bend the elbows, lower halfway or all the way down with control. Inhale, long neck as you lift your chest, shoulders back and down. Downward dog, exhale back. Inhale to expand. Exhale to be with things as they are. So present, so aware. Inhale. Exhale fully. Lift the heels off the floor, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step between your hands, inhale, flat back. Fold down, bend the knees on the exhale. Roll up the spine, circle the arms, inhale high. Exhale to heart, namaskar. From the chest now, extend your arms up, breathe in, engage your core. Folding forward, arms by the body or by the head, I mean. Come all the way down slowly. Step your right foot back, lower your knee to floor into a lunge, and then take your hands to your thigh, find stability. If you like, you can extend the arms up. Soften the shoulders. Now bend your right elbow, tuck it in, use your left hand. Contain the low ribs so you're not overarching in the low back. Relax the shoulders. Some of you may like to bind, reaching the left arm to the side and then down. Using the strap is a great idea, yeah. Let the breath slow down. Be with the heat. Trust the process. We're purifying. One more breath here. Neck is long. Extend the right arm up, left hand to the left hip. Reach your right arm forward and down. Make a fist with the right hand. Curl the right toes under, extend the leg. Open chest and extend the left arm up. So twisting with the shoulders away from ears. Stay in the twist, another great way to purify. And solar energy, Surya energy is related to our solar plexus chakra, Manipura chakra. That's our center for inner power, confidence, ability to make it happen, to trust our, our ability to transform, to evolve. Take one more breath. Bring this left hand down. Step into a plank pose, breathe in. Lower both knees to floor, sit back into child's pose as you breathe out. Stay here for a moment, inhale. Can you bring attention to the solar plexus area? Third chakra, Manipura, just above the navel, below your rib cage. Feel heat in that place. You can even visualize a golden sun. The element of this chakra is fire. The color is a golden yellow. Take one more breath. Then inhale, come forward onto hands and knees. Move your chest past the fingers. Bend the elbows into the waist, lower halfway or all the way down. Lift the chest, inhale, open heart, belly in. Downward dog, exhale all the way back. A full inhale to expand. And a slow exhale to release. Lift up the heels, breathing in. Breathe out, bend the knees, look forward, step your feet between the hands, flatten the back, inhale. Fold over legs, exhale, bend the knees. Keep your knees bent, reach your arms forward by the head. Lift your torso, but keep your hips low. Utkatasana, awkward chair pose or victorious pose. Soften the shoulders, spread your fingers wide, energize your hands, feel the power. It's a strength building pose. It's a heat building pose. Take one more breath, energy of the sun, heat of the sun. 
Stay, hips low, exhale, it's the last one. Extend the legs, inhale, lift the chest, arc the spine. Lower the arms by the body, Tadasana. Same thing on the other side, arms forward and up, inhale. Forward and down, fold over legs, exhale. Left foot steps back, knee to floor. Lift the torso, you can bring hands to thigh or extend the arms. Fullness into the low back. Let the breath slow down. So see, we're not moving fast today, but there's a lot of heat. We want heat, we want fire in the body, but we don't want it to get out of control. So it burns, we burn out. Bend the left elbow, tuck it in. Soften the shoulders. Reach the right arm out, maybe binding. Keep the heart open. Yeah, notice if the right hip is lifting up. Can you keep it low, waist long, and then be with your breath. Taming that fire, but keeping it strong. Strong and tamed, powerful. There, when you need it. Purifying. Okay. From here, straighten the left arm up, right hand to the hip. Bring the arm forward and down, make a fist with the left hand, curl the left toes and straighten that leg, back leg. Look over the right shoulder, reach your right arm up, shoulder heads back. Maintain your right knee over ankle, move your foot as needed. So twists are a great way to wake up Manipura Chakra energy. Be in the pose, present, mind and heart. One more breath. Then lower the right hand down, step into plank pose, inhale. Both knees down, sit back, child's pose on the exhale, just for a couple breaths. Notice the importance of balancing yang postures, heat building postures with the yin cooling postures. Yoga is all about polarities, ha and ta, sun and moon, surya and chandra. Extend the arms forward by the head. Come forward onto hands and knees. Bend the elbows, lower halfway or all the way down. Lift the chest, inhale, open heart. Downward dog, exhale back. Full inhale. Contract the low belly, stay as you exhale. Lift up your heels, breathe in. Breathe out, bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop between your hands, inhale, flat back. Fall down, exhale, bend your knees. Reach your arms by the head. Utkatasana again, lift up the chest. Navel in, low ribs in. Keep your hips low. Arms by the, the ears, high up, high up, shoulders down. Maybe the hips a little lower and less pressure onto the toes. Don't collapse through the arches, take one more breath. Belly in, stay. Then lift up, inhale, open the front of the body. Oof. Exhale, arms down. Lovely. Left foot steps forward, right foot steps back. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Left heel to right arc, inhale, arms lift, shoulder height. Exhale, left arm reaches forward, hip moves away from the hand. We lower the arm, right arm up. Legs are straight. The torso is aligned with the left leg. We can gaze anywhere between right hand and left foot. Make sure your neck feels aligned with the rest of the spine. And you can twist if it feels appropriate. Notice your body vibrant. Solar power moving through. Take one more breath, increasing your own radiance from the inside out. Exhale, look at the left foot, firm the legs and come up as you inhale, arms wide. 
Separate the feet just a little wider. Bend the left knee as you exhale, warrior two. Look over the left hand. And then turn your left palm up. Inhale, left arm left, right hand to right leg, just briefly. And then we'll take that left forearm to thigh or the left hand to floor as you reach the right arm up overhead in line with the right leg. So a straight line from the right foot all the way up into the right hand. If you like a different variation for the arm, one option would be right hand to hip, pointing the elbow back so the chest remains open. Another option is to bind. So your left arm would come under the left leg and the right arm behind. So you can clasp your hands just to the outside of the left hip. Now, keep the chest open. Don't let it close. Press strongly down your right foot. There should be an anchoring sensation in the back foot. Take one more breath, strong legs. Amazing. Slowly release your hands and come back up into warrior two. The legs stay the same, strong, powerful, and then extend the left leg, inhale. Lower the arms, Ooh. feet parallel. Let's cool down before the other side. Hands to hips, elbows back, inhale, lift chest. Chest forward, fold down, Prasarita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward bend. Top of the head down, hold on to your elbows or shoulders. So if you can, stay down. If you don't wanna lower your head for any reason, you could have your hands on a stool, a bench, a wall. So you stay perhaps halfway down. Connect to your breath. Cooling down before we do the other side. This is our last standing sequence. Exhale completely. Come halfway up, reach your chest forward. Inhale, draw the navel in. Exhale, hands to hips, bend the knees a bit. Elbows close to each other as you come all the way up. Arms down. Triangle pose, second side, right toes point back, left heel out. Inhale, arms shoulder height. Exhale, reach far away, long waist, right arm down, left arm up. We're not putting weight on the right hand. The core is stabilizing us. So it's really engaging. The breathing is smooth. The mind is present. We're purifying physically, mentally, energetically. Last breath in Trikonasana. Gaze at the right foot from the legs to come back up. Inhale, arms wide. Separating the feet a little wider to bend the front knee for warrior two. So right knee over ankle, navel in, shoulders on top of the pelvis. Turn the right palm up. Reverse warrior, right arm up, left hand down. Keep bending the front knee. And now either forearm to the thigh or hand to floor. Left arm extends by the head in one line with the left foot, moving up the leg, up the torso, up the arm into the hand. For binders, you start with bringing left hand to hip and then right arm can come under the leg. And we never let the torso collapse. We stay in our power, the legs are strong. The heart is open, the breath is smooth. Last strength building pose. Finishing the exhalation here. We'll return into warrior two. So keep the knee bent, right knee. As you lift up, open your arms. Stay as you exhale and then extend the leg. Lower the arms. 
Last Dasarita Padottanasana, bring your feet parallel, the legs comfortably wide. wide. Interlace your hands behind your hips, opposite from when you did before. So opposite thumb on the outside. Extend the arms, chest up, forward and down, fold. Top of the head down, let the arms reach up and overhead. Feel your breath and notice how forward bends can be cooling. Invite in lunar power. We've done a lot of heat building stuff today. We've connected to Surya energy a lot. We bring in the moon to keep things balanced. Bending the knees a bit without letting them collapse. Reach your chest forward and come up to stand. Take your time. If you feel busy, uh, dizzy, take a moment. And then we'll bring the feet together and prepare to lie down. Let's see if we can come down to lie together, okay? So simply sit down, extend your legs forward and have room behind you to lie. Point your feet, big toes close to each other, reach the arms forward, inhale, lift your chest. And then contract the belly, round the spine with the chin down. We start coming to the floor. Use your core strength. Maintain the inner rotation in the legs on your way down. When your head is on the floor, hugging the knees. Relax your back. You can rock side to side. We're going to do one more back bend and then a twist to cool us down. Bring feet to floor close to hips. Arms by the body. Let's take a deep breath into the belly. Contract the belly on the exhale, all the air out. And in the emptiness, lift up your hips. And then walk your shoulders close together. Adjust as needed. Turn your palms up. Imagine you're squeezing a block between your thighs. Engage your inner legs, pressing into the imaginary block. You might interlace your hands underneath the body with the arms straight or just keep the palms up. It's very important to maintain the engagement of the inner legs, squeezing a block, a real one or an imaginary one. This helps to protect the low back. Lift up your hips, pubic bones skyward. And breathe in bridge pose, set to bandhasana. Open in the front to receive the sun's power, its illumination, its radiance. Relax the face and take one more breath. Separate the hands, the shoulders, and lower the upper back first, then the hips. Let the knees fall inward. If you have a pillow or a cushion to place under your head, I recommend that now, supporting your cervical curve. And then open your feet as wide as the mat, knees open as well, open the arms out. Palms facing up, take a breath in center. Exhale, knees turn right, head turns left. Inhale, return to center, knees and head. Exhale, knees point left, head right. Inhale up, twist, knees right, head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left, head right. Up as you breathe in, twist as you breathe out. Last one. Inhale up, exhale down. 
Inhale, lift, pause, bring your feet hip distance apart, hug in your right knee and straighten the left leg down. Let the low back be long and then reach your right arm to the side. And with the left hand, you guide your knee across the body over to the left, turning the head right. The right hip stays away from the shoulder. And we rest here. So you decide how far down the knee goes. It doesn't have to go too much. Let this be more of an opening for the right side. The way stays long, the low back is acquiring even more space. The hip is releasing. Perhaps this is even getting into the IT band a little bit. And then see if you can go a little deeper into your perception of what's happening now. To notice any energy that might be present for you. As I mentioned before, the right side is correspondent to Surya. Sun. And with the yoga asanas, we are affecting energy channels. We're clearing blockages. Just one more breath here. And draw this right knee back up and hug it in. Bring your left knee up as well. Pause for a moment between the two sides. Place your hands on your kneecaps and move them forward. Your hands can stay in the patella, but there's more weight on the sacrum now. Just hold here for a moment. The knees are still together. This helps to release the spine, to neutralize the spine. Natural curves. And then we can bring the knees into chest once again. Left knee stays right foot down, extend that leg forward. Reach the left arm out to the side. And use your right hand to bring the knee across the body to the right. Turn your head opposite from the knee. So the head turning left, left hip away from shoulder. Breathing mindfully. Opening up the body physically, energetically. This is our Chandra side. Lunar energy is what we are freeing up now. Let the face relax completely. And clenching jaw, relax the eyes. No rush. As you finish the exhalation, bring this left knee 
back up and hug it in. Right knee comes up. Separate the knees wide. Lift the soles up for happy baby. Hold on to the outer edges of the feet. Keeping the sake from heavy, feel free to rock or stay still. You can also get playful with the legs if that's what your body wants, straightening them as you like. Ananda Balasana, the blissful child, the child that is present, that is completely in the moment, not worrying about future, past. Embrace that feeling in the happy baby pose. And then we'll lower the feet down to prepare for Shavasana. Remember that if there's tenderness in the low back, you can benefit from elevating your legs with bolsters or putting them up on a couch or even bending the knees. So take your time to get organized, to be cozy. Very comfortable. Adjust the shoulder blades down the back. Palms can face up. Notice your body resting on the floor. There was a lot of movement in the practice. We've strengthened the body, we've cleansed, we've purified. Our work is now done. This is a time for the body to integrate what we've done. And in the rest, we allow there to be healing, physically, energetically. We allow the body to restore itself, <clears throat> to renew itself. The practice now is to <clears throat> trust the body's wisdom, is to let go of any need to control. Notice your feet relaxed, all the toes, the ankles, knees, hips, both legs relaxed. The abdominal area, the rib cage, the chest, the entire back relaxed. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, both arms, both hands, all the fingers, completely relaxed. Relax your neck. Relax your mouth. Relax your jaw, the lips, the tongue. Relax your cheeks, ears, temples, the eyes, the center of the eyebrows, forehead, smooth, the scalp relaxes, the brain, entire body at ease,
bring your attention to the solar plexus area, Manipura Chakra. The chakra that holds our personal power, confidence, the trust in our ability to create anything we want. To manifest all of our dreams. And a big part of this comes from the understanding of who we really are. Here we establish ourselves in our truth. We can visualize a golden light shining brightly at the solar plexus. your infinite well of strength, power, radiance, and light. Just like the sun, this radiance, this brightness, this power is always there, even when we cannot see it or feel it, it is there. So allow the brightness of your personal sun to radiate into every cell of your being, filling you up with light, with truth, Your entire being is now vibrating with the golden light of the sun. This light is so powerful that it touches everything around you. It lights up wherever you go, whoever you come in contact with. It reminds them of their own radiance, of their own light. Without disconnecting from this light, you can begin moving the hands and feet, waking up the body. Stretching out. 
hugging in the knees, rolling over to one side. And then we'll sit up to close. The eyes can remain closed for a moment. Your body is still radiating with light that will continue to be bright throughout the whole day. Join the palms together at heart. In gratitude for this life, for the power of the sun, for our own personal Surya, Gayatri. We'll chant the sound of Om, inhale. Namaste.